Okay, so now let's have the first example how to do the hypothesis testing using Minitab. So we have seen previously this example. We have a test on the mean of population of bottles capacity. We have taken this sample and these measurements before and this is our hypothesis. Now we are going to copy this data into Minitab. And we are going to have the same a hypothesis and perform the hypothesis test using Minitab. So now we are going to use Minitab. Let's go for Minitab. And here in Minitab, I have copied the data of the measurement in the column C2. I have renamed this C2 as example 1. So to show the data, we can here double click on the worksheet. We can double click on the worksheet to, to see the full range of the data so the data here is nine elements which is exactly the same data in our example now we can minimize this window in this button so to perform the test on our hypothesis this is a two-sided test this was a test when we know the population variance or sigma square so we just go to stat menu then to sub menu of basic statistics we should go to one sample z we have one sample or one population and taken one sample we will use the z because we know the sigma square of the population so we click on this here in the top we have the samples in a column so our samples are in example one or the column number two so we double click on c2 now we are going to perform a hypothesis test so we select this option now our hypothesis mean was 500 so we write 500 here but before doing our hypothesis we go to options in options we choose our confidence level so our confidence level was 95 also we choose the alternative hypothesis if it was not equal or less than or greater than we have two-sided hypothesis so we choose not equal here we choose ok and finally we just choose ok oh sorry we have not inputted the standard deviation for the population as we have said here we know the standard uh, deviation or sigma for the population so from our example this is our example we have sigma square equal 4 so sigma will be 2 now we are going to minitab we have sigma to be 2 so we input 2 we just click on ok so in this session, here we have the definition of our hypothesis. We test of a mu equal 500 versus a mu does not equal to 500. We have assumed the standard deviation to be 2. This is the sample size, 9 elements. This is the mean value as we have seen. And this is the standard deviation. The standard deviation of the data. And here is the confidence interval on the mean. So we look, this is 95% confidence interval on the mean. The hypothesis mean is 500. So this is the result. So 500 is included within the uh, this interval. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. This is also the value of Z or Z0. So this is the test statistic, which is minus 0 0.43. Also, we can simply only use the B value. Here we have the B value 0 0.665. And we have the alpha to be 5%. So B value is much larger than alpha. So also we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. So either we use the B value or the confidence interval we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis in our example.